Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward, friends. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by the Coffee Roasters Mastermind Group, which is coached by the fabulous Ann Cooper. If you want any information, check the show notes for details. Today on the podcast, we're going to follow on from the last episode where we spoke about what a mastermind group is. And in today's episode of the podcast, we're going to be talking about why small business owners should get help with their small business and what value that contributes to a small business. Now, there's different ways of getting help, but the reason that you want help is usually for one main thing, and that's confidence. Being a small business owner can be riddled with vulnerability and anxiety and worry about one particular question. (laughs) Am I going to make the right choices? Hands up anyone who's running a small business that lives pretty much in the existence of that realm all the time. Me, everyone. Every every time you speak to a small business owner, uh, they may have fleeting moments of confidence, but when they are being real with themselves, they'll tell you they don't know if the decisions that they're making are going to be the best decision even when they are experiencing success. What typically happens, people are either wondering, have I made the right decision or could I have, could I have done better? Are there going to be ramifications that I can't anticipate for the decisions that I've made? Am I going to upset someone? Are my customers going to be angry? Are my staff going to be angry? All of these things are the flow-on effects of Am I making the wrong decision? Am I making the right decision? Now, when you are moving in flow, which is something that we talk a lot about in our mastermind groups, but when you are moving in flow, these challenges around confidence, these challenges around am I making the right decision, we get to explore them in depth in our mastermind groups. But even if you're not a part of our mastermind groups, but you do have help from a a consultant, you should be exploring with them any of the vulnerabilities that you have that leave your foundational confidence exposed. And you should be processing the ideas that you have and playing them out with the person who's helping you in your business, whether that be a mastermind group or it be a consultant. And you should pay for these services so that the person can do a couple of things. They can be accountable to a standard and they are required to deliver with regards to the experience that they've gained. So it's not just that somebody sits there and says to you, well, sure, I can help you with that, no problem. Uh, Here, you know, let me give you all my my information for nothing. Well, the reason that you want to pay for that is that person is kind of free from any kind of consequences if you're not paying for the services. So Paying a fee from the person who's helping you is really important. And we've covered that in a previous episode of the podcast. But getting help that you've paid for means that the person is there with you and responsible for asking you the questions that will get you to the confidence that you're looking for to move within your business. Now, a way that we do that in the mastermind groups is that we work through some of the challenges that people are doing and we ask what I call compass questions. So these are the questions that help people understand what direction they're going to be moving in if they make the choices that they're not currently being faced with or they're not already making. So, for example, if you want to open... um, If you want to open a roasting facility and you've already got a cafe, I'm going to ask you a number of compass questions that are going to take you through the journey of what will happen if you open the roasting company so that you can start to at least get an understanding of what is ahead of you on a very general level. Now, if you still want to move forward with that beyond that line of questioning, then we go deeper. 
and we start to ask things like where does the capital come from, Uh, what does the branding look like, we go deeper and deeper and deeper so that you start to get a complete picture of the matrix involved in the plan that you're looking at putting together. Having done that before you go into it, allows you a level of confidence that you have some kind of a reference of the blueprint ahead of you. If you move beyond that level of questioning, then it's time to go into planning. But if you just make the decision to do something like that and think, well, I'll just figure it out as I go because that's what I did when I opened my cafe and I've survived. I want you to have a better quality experience that is different from just learning on the job. And that's why you should get help from people that you can rely on when you're in business. Because although the journey is going to teach you everything you never wanted to know about yourself, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't enjoy it. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It won't be easy. But You should be experiencing being in business in a way that isn't a constant source of stress. So seeing the asteroidal impacts that are coming before they show up and being able to have a moment to duck and weave so that they don't completely take you out. They may graze you every now and then, but they don't destroy you. That's why you should get help with your business. Whether it be getting help for a a particular period of time or getting help ongoingly. So, you know, you can have a consultant that helps you sort out a specific problem or get you through a particular part of your business or join a mastermind group where you're paying, well, for us, it's $100 a month. You pay $100 a month, you get to join a group with six people Uh, It's recorded. You get to uh, ask questions. You get to learn from other people's questions and you grow from that. And the growth is extraordinary. And you can be in those groups for as long as you want to be. Or you can be in them for as little as three months. Either way, get help so that you're not alone. Get help so that you can feel that you are growing And you are headed in the right direction. Most importantly, get help so that it's building confidence in you as you make decisions as a small business owner in the coffee industry. I hope this has been helpful. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.